Welcome to the CSSN channel. Our topic for today is the seven factors that affect muscle growth. My name is Abuzar Habib Inya. I have an MD degree and I'm the director of the Canadian Academy of Sport Nutrition. Subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube to enjoy the information that we share on a regular basis about medicine, weight loss, fitness, and sport nutrition. Okay, there are many people out there that they want to put muscles on, they want to get bigger physically, they want to get fit, or they want their six packs out. However, they have difficulty putting muscles on. Today, you're going to learn the seven factors that can affect your muscle growth. And at the end, I'm going to answer an important question. How much muscles can we build in a day? Okay, let's see what are those seven factors. I have put those seven factors on the board already for you. Let's review together. Number one, genetics and body types. You heard it correct. When it comes to muscle building, without a doubt, your genes are the master engineers that modulates every other factors to increase your muscle mass. In our next video, I'm going to open up discussion about 11 genes and I'm going to show you how they affect your muscle mass, how they affect your muscle strength. But for now, I want you to keep in mind that the average size of a person's muscle mass is determined to a great extent by the genes. Number two, hormones. Hormonal health. In our bodies, we have 100 plus hormones. There are many hormones that involve in muscle growth. But here are the top five. Testosterone, growth hormone, cortisol, insulin, and IGF-1. We're going to talk about those hormones in the future, but today I'm going to give you a glimpse. Let's go with IGF-1. IGF-1 stands for insulin-like growth factor 1. Many studies show that if you give someone IGF-1 without training, without exercise, muscle mass can increase 14.8%. And if the person trains, and if the person exercises, muscle mass can increase 31.8%. Number three, nutritional status. When we say nutrition and uh, muscle growth, people immediately think of proteins and amino acids. Well, they're right and they're wrong. When it comes to nutrition and muscle growth, you need many nutrients to help your muscles grow, from water to fats, from amino acids to salt. Actually, we have published a video in the past. We have published a video on June 11, 2019, and you can find the video in the channel. And the title of the video is this, you cannot put muscles on without salt. My point is this, you need many nutrients to help your muscles grow. And definitely proteins and amino acids are necessary, but they are not enough. Number four, physical activities. Well, physical activities and different types of exercises will contribute little to muscle growth without other six factors in place. On the other hand, without physical activities, without mechanical tension, the other six factors cannot effectively build muscles. Number five, sleep. Well, everyone knows that to help your muscle grow, you need a good quality of sleep. You need the right amount of sleep. And we're going to discuss in the future how sleep helps your muscles grow. Number six, nervous system activation. Okay, when I say nervous system activation, let me briefly explain what I mean. Okay, so imagine this is uh, your uh, muscles and you know that your muscles, they are made of many, many muscle fibers. And every muscle uh, fiber uh, receives its own nerve ending. Okay, let's say this is a nerve, comes in here and is going to distribute to every single muscle fiber. This part we call it neuromuscular junction. To help your muscle grow, 
you have to have proper function at the neuromuscular junction. Definitely, this is one of the topics that we're going to discuss in the future more. And number seven, stressors. Well, stress is a part of our life and we cannot eliminate it, but definitely we can manage it. Unfortunately, stress affects muscle growth negatively. And actually, we have published video about uh, factor number seven, stressors. We have published a video on October 29, 2019, and the title of the video is this, how stress can affect your muscle mass. Okay, now you know the seven factors that can affect your uh, muscle growth. And the final part of our presentation today, we have been asked many times a question, how much muscles can we build in a day? Personal, I have checked many textbooks in medicine, exercise physiology, and sports medicine, and I couldn't find anything in these books to say how much muscles you can build in a day. However, this is what we have discovered at the CSSN. If all these seven factors are in place, you can build muscles, I'm going to put in here for you, up to 20 grams per day. At the CSSN, we can see that our clients are putting muscles on 3 grams a day, 7 grams a day, 11 grams a day, but we have never ever seen anybody to put more than 20 grams muscles per day. But here's the interesting part. If all these seven uh, factors work in your favor and you are building 20 grams muscles a day, let's see how much muscles you can build in one year. 20 times 365, you're gonna get 7,300 grams. So if all these seven factors work in your favor and you are able to build 20 grams muscles a day, in one year you should be able to put more than seven kg muscles. And in two years you should be a giant. But we know that that's not true. But we know that that never happens. Why? Because as you continue your journey in uh, muscle building, you reach to a point that your body is going to put a stop to it, that you have reached your natural capacity of muscle building. I really hope that you learned something interesting today because we make science easy to understand. Now you know. If you don't want to miss our next video, you can subscribe to the CSSN channel on YouTube. To support us, you can like, share, or comment on this video. Until next time, stay safe, stay connected.